Hi friends, this is Crime Time Buzz. Welcome back to my returning subscribers and welcome in to my new friends. Smash the subscribe button and join the community. Tonight I'm doing this video to talk to you about Summer Wells. I have a little bit of a heavy heart regarding her tonight and I'm worried. There's been a lot of rumors, speculation, things going on. Possibly we're getting close to solving the case. I pray so for that sake of that beautiful little girl. I just felt like reaching out to you guys and talking about her a little bit. Like the rest of the world, she's captured my heart and I have shed many tears. Her birthday on February 4th tore me up. I shed tears most of that day. But as things heat up and we learn of alleged phones with information on them and etc., I wanted to just chat and reach out and see how all of you are doing, my friends. Real quick, for respect of those who may not know this case yet, I will share the facts with you, which are very few. Our beloved Summer was reported missing on June 15th, 2021 from her rural home in Beach Creek area of Rogersville, Tennessee, which is located in Hawkins County. TBI's first statement informed us that Summer was last seen spotted outside of her home. However, Candace Wells and Don Wells, Summer's parents, quickly changed that narrative to Summer was snatched from the basement. Summer's home sits on the top of a hill and encompasses 11 and a half acres at 110 Ben Hill Road. Well, friends, here we are nine months later with very few facts. The fact is this, Summer has vanished without a trace. There were three searches conducted in June, December, and just this March, the beginning of this March. They have included the FBI card team in June, Divers, drones, helicopters, dogs, equisearch, volunteers, horseback, and to no avail. The three different searches occurred at different times due to the terrain changing due to the seasonal changes. Well, following the March 3rd search through the thickets and brushes in three different areas, Sheriff Ronnie Hawkins stated the family had not been cooperating and have lawyered up. Now flashback, the dad, Don Wells, went to jail for 11 months and 29 days for a probation violation on February 7th. Following Ronnie Lawson's statement, Summer's grandma, Candy Hare, finally spoke, had not spoken up to this point, claiming they were cooperating she gave a timeline of events that day, adding a nap that she took into it, which blew the timeline up again, among other things. The mom, Candace Bly Wells, had placed Grandis Candy Hare at the horse pond on June 15th with the rest of them watching Summer swim. But Candy Hare never put herself at the horse pond during her interview. So again, we have timelines, events that have morphed repeatedly through the nine months. I cannot even bring up to you all the examples, but I wanted to bring that up and just kind of catch you up to date. The only facts we have is summer went missing and there have been three searches and there is no sign of abduction for the card team, and that Ronnie Lawson also has added an TBI to their statement that foul play may have been involved. Those are the facts. As sad as it is, those are all the facts after nine months. And the sheriff has also stated no individual involved in Summer's daily life have been eliminated as suspects. And friends, there is a huge long cast of characters that I am not even going to go completely into. There is too many of them, and each one of them have contradicted themselves at one time or another, in my opinion. So all prior to this were facts, and now I'm going to introduce you to Tim Mullins because he is part of the drama that is going on right now over the phone. 
Tim Mullins, apparently, he is the self-professed media manager for the Wells family. He created the websites. He created Candace's YouTube channels. And he apparently, allegedly, has met the family after Summer went missing at a prayer vigil. And he did begin attending the Seventh-day Adventist church. Okay. Tim took Don to jail that day and returned to Candace, all of Don's personal items except his phone. He did not give the phone to Candace nor mention it, that he had it, allegedly. He took it home for two weeks, downloaded everything onto his laptop, and then returned it to Candace Bly Wells, period. When Candace was asked if she had taken it to law enforcement, she had not. This is all just transpired, my friends. That's why I'm bringing it up. Can you imagine downloading something when there was a little girl missing from her father's phone, downloading that phone and not telling law enforcement you have it or giving them what you've downloaded. It blows my mind. So this is completely blown up. People calling out for Candace to give in the phone. Now, last night, Candace said she gave it to uppers. Not sure what an upper is in Miss Candace Blywell's world, but... She said, if FBI wants it or TBI wants it, they can come and get it. Well, my friends, if you were in an urgency to find your daughter and the day before you had mentioned you were afraid your husband may or may, may allegedly have something to do with it, and then you have his phone, please tell me this. I myself would have ran it there by foot if I had to. What would you have done? Drop me a comment, my friends. So I'm going to end it here today saying I did hear a little bit of a rumor that people heard on the scanner that law enforcement was at 110 Bound Hill Road in the last couple of nights. They do have the information from the phone, and rumor has it that that information is leading to summer being sold. All rumor alleged has not been confirmed yet. That's why my stomach's upset today. I'm sad today. I'm waiting to hear. And let's just pray little Summer is located and we get justice for her. Thank you for listening. Prayers up, please, for this little girl. God bless. Talk soon, my friends.